Hey you guys, I just had to take a quick detour from the coding videos to show you guys a intro to GitHub Atom text editor, which I just got my beta invite to a few days ago. So this isn't even publicly released yet, but I wanted to kind of give you guys some insight on how great this editor is. I am thoroughly impressed after the last few days. And honestly, once a couple little bugs get fixed that are already in the works on getting fixed, I will be switching to this as my primary editor because it is awesome. Uh, you guys probably know I'm historically a huge Sublime Text guy. I swear by it. Um, and if you like Sublime Text, you're just going to fall in love with Adam is my my guess. So we'll just kind of show you around. So you'll notice right away it feels really at home with Sublime Text. Um, the tabbing even just feels really, really sublime -y, which is great to me. I feel right at home. One of the great things right out of the box you'll notice is some colors here. It's automatically built in with a git differ, so you're going to notice these are orange because I made a change to my main.js. Uh, so it's really great, and you'll also notice that any folders that are git ignored are grayed out. Anything that's in the git ignore file is applied to the colors, and the themes can make use of that information. So those are two big wins for me right off because those are really nice to have. Um, I can do Apple Shift P and do all commands just like you can in Sublime. Love that they give you the hotkeys there. I can do Apple P and I can automatically search for any file. And that's super nice. And then Apple P, uh, just like Sublime Text, will give you your most recent history at the top as well or any open files. Uh, so you can use Apple P to hot switch back and forth between your most recent files uh, if you just hit Apple P and then enter. So that's really cool. Uh, what are some other great features? Most of the hotkeys that you're going to be using in Sublime are going to work, like Apple D to uh, automatically do multiple cursors. Uh, so I've got some multiple cursors selected here by hitting Apple D a few times. You probably can't see that. Let me see if I can get you a better... Uh, Let's see, padding will probably work. Padding, Apple D a couple times, and now I can go margin. So that's nice for multiple cursors. Um, really, most anything so far, you'll notice the diffs are right there, flagged. Super nice. Um, most anything that you can do in Sublime, you can do with Atom. Let's look at the preferences real quick. Um, automatically has package manager built in. Really great. The packages are built in CoffeeScript. Atom's built on Node, so this is going to be a really easy text editor to hack and build packages for. I can't wait to start building uh, some packages for this. Um, also, your themes here, a really cool feature is you can theme the UI. So if you guys are weird and like your light UI, you can do that and feel all cool. Uh, and then you can also do dark if you, uh, for whatever reason, you're like me. So let's install a Dracula theme. Dracula. There we go. Dracula theme. Let's get that guy installed. H installed. And now we're rocking with Dracula. So super easy to work with. Let's look at one of the coolest features of the Atom is that it gives you some command line tools. So any folder you're in, I'll go ahead and close this out. Don't save anything. I can just go Atom and it's going to automatically open up the folder that I was in. One of the bugs they're in the process of fixing is that when you do it this way, you're not going to see your git diffing. Uh, but that is already a bug request, and they're working on that. You can also go atom grunt file, and that's just going to open the file you're in. Super cool. You can give it several different flags. You can tell it to open in the foreground. If you go atom help, you can see that you can open it in a new window. You can uh, log output. You can run development mode. Super cool. Another thing they give you is the APM command, which is your Atom package, package manager. So I can go APM list. I can see all the default packages, and I can also see any user packages, which is my Dracula theme. So I can uninstall that. Dracula theme. I can probably do APM search Monokai too. Yep, there you go. So I can install this theme from here. So it really gives you some cool features out of the box. Um, you can add the Atom command for Sublime. I use SUB uh, for the exact same features. So it's not stuff that you absolutely can't get with Sublime. These aren't features you can't add into Sublime. But really, out of the box, they just give them all to you, which I am loving. So 
there's your first take on Atom Editor. I'm really liking it. I uninstalled my Dracula theme, so that's not working now. Um, but out of the box, I'm saying, way to go, GitHub. This editor is cool, and I am hands down a fan. Have a great day, you guys.